<laughs> what up, bro? Mr. Brown, what's going on, boss? How are you? My my fault, man. I was I was logging into I I was uh, forgetting the uh, one letter and I kept logging into another joint. Thank you, man, for your patience. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, man. How are you, bro? No, oh, of course. Thank you for coming. How's it going on, yeah? How you feeling? Man, I'm, I'm I'm alive. I'm well, man. I, I I don't complain, man. I'm just I'm just glad that everybody around me is 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 solid and healthy, bro. And um, I, I'm I thank you for your time, man. I appreciate you, bro. Of course. of course. So thank you. So guys who are tuning in, we're about to speak to actor and comedian London Brown, and he got a lot of stuff going on right now. So I definitely want to talk to him, get his thoughts on a couple things. Um, and you know, I first was introduced to you um, on Ballers, uh, which was an amazing show. You had me oh, cracking up. Oh. was crazy as hell, but um, <laughs> hilarious, though. But um, And then I actually met up with you in New York Fashion Week. We chopped it up um, back then as well. So thank you so much for, um, for jo joining in with us for this conversation. Absolutely. First of all, somebody said, I love your shirt. Where'd you get that shirt from? That shirt is that's fire. Yo, I got this... Um... I picked this out. I was in Toronto and um, R shout major shout to R W and Co. Right. R W Co. If you ever out the states, you're really in Toronto. R W Co. Man, even when I touch down in the city, they uh, allow me to walk. You know, just really just pan this store, and right. I pull pieces from this store, man. So thank you, R W Co. Man, for just being so cool for letting me pull some pieces. And uh, yeah, this is a shirt that I pull. I got like got little flowers on it, like low-key. Oh no, it worked. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I appreciate because people people don't they be hate. They be, I, I, I ain't gonna say they be hating, but sometimes people don't understand, man, and, and, and they don't know. But I, I, I appreciate you just acknowledging it because sometimes what low-key what cats do, they look at the shirt, they be like, man, they see the shirt. I know that I'm for they like the shirt. They won't say it. They'll look at the, they'll see the shirt. Man, he got a cool shirt on. They won't say nothing. But thank you for not the shirt, man. Made a shout out to R. W. and Cole. And and so this this is the piece, man. I I pulled the shirt, man. I, I and I I probably think I wore for like TIFF, which is Toronto uh, International Film Festival. So yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate you, bro. Absolutely, bro. Yes, of course. So you know, even trying to just jump right into everything. Um, how have you been like trying to stay sane? within all this quarantine? You know, I know everybody got different ways of just handling stuff and doing things, but how have you specifically just been, you know, keeping it cool? You know, honestly, for me, it's been, um, this isn't, this isn't actually like, too crazy from what my regular life is. Like, okay. I do stand up, um, stand up as in, as in, I, you know, comedy and all that stuff. So I work clubs at night, comedy clubs at night. Okay. But, during the day, this is like my regular life. So, during the, my, my regular day is just like I, I work out and I, I cook a little something, I study. That's my basics, you know, on my on my regular life. So this isn't like this isn't like um super extreme for me to be home right. during the day. The main thing is I try to wear my mask yeah. everywhere. You know what I mean? Um, I think that after this whole quarantine thing. And I don't know how everybody else is, but for me personally, I'm. I, I look, this word, this was good for me. Let me break it down. I saw this movie a few years ago called uh, Quarantine. Yep. And um, when I saw that movie, and I saw how easily germs were transferred, mm -hmm. I remember after watching the movie, I just started washing my hands a lot more. Right. But now, after. Being in this situation, <laughs> cause in, in, I mean, I'm from LA, I'm from South Central LA. Yeah. I remember I used to see the Asians, right? The Asians would walk around with the mask on. Right. And I was like, yo, I, I thought, I said, maybe they maybe they got a cold or something. Right. They trying to make sure that they don't pass it on. Mm -hmm. And I used to look at them, you know, kind of biased. I was like, okay, I see what's going on. Right. Now, bro, <laughs> after this situation, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be. I don't know if I'm ever going to feel comfortable not wearing a mask, bro. Right. Like, I'm, I'm now going to be one of them dudes that wear a mask, at least in the in the, in the the public area. Like, when I'm, I'm out in the streets, elevators. Right. I'm, mask. Bro, I'm going to look like a... I'm going to look like a ninja. Like, everywhere... 
<laughs> exactly. Look like a, I'm finna look like a ninja everywhere, bro. Cause I don't, I just don't. I, I'm cool, bro. I'm catching a cold. And so. you know the dynamic has changed. Even you know shaking hands, hugging people, kissing, all that stuff, all of that stuff. It's it's a it's gonna be cut out for sure. It's a different thing, bro. Like I, you know, and and like uh, maybe maybe a couple months ago in March, I because I'm from South Central LA as I mentioned, and it was Nipsey. It was um. Oh, take a lost you. Here you go. What I was saying was. Um, about a, uh, about a year ago, mm -hmm. Nipsey, I'm from South Central LA, same place yeah. Nipsey's from. And yeah. I went over to the area where Nipsey was. And so I'm, I'm going to do photography. So I went over there to go take some photos. And there are people, who, there were people who were there who watched Ballers and they, they, they like my work. They want to take pictures. Yeah. And I forgot. And I just connected with people. But as to what you were saying, it's a different thing now where handshake, all that stuff is a, is a vibe now. So. Yeah. Not to be verbose by anything, what you're saying. I'm 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 wearing my mask. Yep. I'm laying, staying focused, bro, and um, tr just trying to keep healthy so that I can be ready to go back to work, bro. Good, good. So you know, even you brought up Nipsey Hustle, um, and you know, sadly, we just the black community has just been hit with so much just this year, past two years. That's good. How how do you feel like what's your feelings right now as a black man living in america this is this is my thing man i i it's stressful being black man mm -hmm. like i know that every, first of all black people are the most copy people on the planet as far as like everybody loves our energy our our vibe our music our haircuts right our style all of that, but what I need people, what I need non-black people to do is understand that you like our culture, like us as a people. Mm -hmm. But if you if you really care about us the way that you do, mm -hmm. and I, I have to be very thorough about this, right? I need y'all non-black folks. I need you to go and stand up and make some cause some havoc. On our behalf, if you care about us the way you do, the way you say you do, I white people, right? Oh, look, ain't no, ain't no shade, ain't no hate, right? Hate takes too much energy, so it's right. not about hate white folks. It's not about that. It's not about none of that. But I'm saying, I, cause I know I, I got white people who like me, yeah, who want ballers and everything, right? I'm like, look, your voice is effective, right. you're, you're, you're heard. Your voice is respected, right? Because it's respected. And, and all of those things, listen, go down there and, and, and cause some noise, cause some havoc, cause some chaos, and say, listen, man, my black friend, my black boyfriend, my black husband, whatever you, whatever, whoever you're dealing with that's black. Right. Pause. Whoever you're dealing with that's black, be like, yo, we need some things in place that's going to protect them from police brutality, bro. We, we look at them every day. Now we're we going back. We we got lynchings right, right here, not too far from LA. Our our out of LA people are being lynched, bro. It hurts right. my heart. Yeah, I, I'm not. And, and again, I'm not talking from some from a guy who is speaking from some some stuff I saw on the news. Right. I was, I was pulled over because somebody thought that I was uh, claiming that somebody. I got pulled over by the police mm -hmm. not too long ago, a few months ago, because they thought that I was. A guy that was packing some heat or packing packing a gun, yep. and who had threatened to murder somebody, the police pulled up on me, put me in handcuffs, put me on my knees on the, on the side of the curb. Was gonna, uh, I, I understand. I'm dealing with this stuff firsthand, bro. Um, so I, I'm just saying to anybody, being black is cool. All that stuff we got rhythm, we can dance. But <laughs> you, we gonna get black when we dance if the right. We so good at rhythm, we don't even need music. If the food <laughs> up, uh, 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 it's food exactly, exactly. Right? But on on the real side of things, honestly, man, we need people to just stand up, man. If you if you got black friends, mm -hmm. black uh, you, whoever you you dealing with that's black, 
if you really care about them, make your, make your voice known, make it heard, stand. We need change. We need love. Yep. We need protection from, from, these, from the cops that are, you know, putting a hurt on us, bro. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that George Floyd was an angel. We know that he had a history. That's why right. he went to Minneapolis to get a, to rebuild his stuff and all of that stuff. Right. I'm not. If you if you do the crime, do the time. Right. I'm not. I'm not anti cop. I'm not anti law. But dig this. This is real. This is real. Real spit. Black people low key aren't. Black people aren't against all lives matter. The pro, The the reason that black people have to say black lives matter right. is because the people who say all lives matter don't include black lives. Black lives, yep. We, we black people, we, we the most loving, caring people ever, yep. bro. Yep. We got everybody, bro, yep. to, to a point where it's almost low key, it's a, it's a fault because we care about everybody else so much yep. that we're taking time to really do, to love ourselves, to yep. make sure that we we in place, bro. It, it's love for everybody, right. but I will say that black people we have to learn to love ourselves to the point where we we stop killing each other, yep. right? We stop yep. shooting, each other, stop doing, we stop hating on each other. And right. we, we, when somebody black do well, we got we got to support that and lift that man. So when I when I, my publicist called it and, and everybody my team called me and said, yo. I got it. I got an interview with you. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, my brother Black. Let's rock. Her, I'm here you. to support that, bro. So it's 100 percent, man. I, I support your movement, bro, and, and 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 everything that you got going on. But in general, yep, we got we got to love each other more, man. And, and uh, um, hey, you know, um, we have enough allies. Now we need accomplices. You yeah. know, when I heard that, I was like, oh, that that hit different. You know, we need somebody to go to bat for us. You know, it's, oh, yeah, we love y'all, y'all great, or whatever. No, nah, who's going to take it that next level and that's going to fight for us, fight with yeah. us? You know what I mean? So it's, it's definitely... We're going, we're going live right now. We're going live, man. I, I, I had to represent, man, so they didn't know what's going on, man. I, uh, I gotta look at uh, <laughs> Absolutely. But, yeah, you, you, that's real talk, bro. That's real talk. You have to. So... You know, a lot. There's been a lot of conversations and people, you know, making comments about um, black celebrities and things like that, and speaking out. Do you think that black celebrities um, or public figures have a responsibility to speak out on social injustice? Yeah, it, 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 honestly, I think that it's one of those things where people gotta understand everyone's role in this in, in a situation like this. Where mm -hmm. let's let's keep it real. Like, do we really do we really want to excuse me? Do we really want to see um Beyonce in the front of the march? We don't I, when you really think about it, right? We wouldn't even let, let's be honest, we wouldn't even believe if we saw Rihanna, uh if we saw Rihanna, Beyonce, Jay Z, Rick Ross in the front of a march. We wouldn't even right. believe it. I'm not. I'm not mad at them. We, as black people, we gotta stop being so judgmental. Okay. Because what we know is that low key Jay Z people like that 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 are fi financial mo uh, mm -hmm. moguls or uh, um, moguls. Yep. Uh, people like that. Let them move behind the scenes, and as we know, as, as, as Meek Mill said, and, and Trayvon Martin folks have said, ooh. Hold on, my my iPad's about to die. Dang! No, if if it died, I'm, I'm gonna connect with you. But all right, the point is that we people like that financially let yeah. them cover the the lawyer costs and right. different things like that on the back on the back end. Right. You know what I mean? Right now, I, I personally I don't want them on on the front line. I don't need them for that. Right. For that's in the streets, handle the streets. I don't even want white people marching during the protest because. Right. Because I don't like white people. It's not because. Oh, I think his phone died. Hey, that's why I needed to know where he was at. Why he don't want the white people marching? 
I think it died. He gonna have to come back with us. Let's see, hold up. Oh, he gone. All right. Well, that was part one of our interview. Uh, part two is coming soon. Thank you guys for tuning in with us. <laughs> Do you guys agree? Do you guys not want white people marching with us? I don't know. I think I think we need everybody. I want everybody disturb the whole piece. We need to have a good conversation. The only thing is them fireworks. Y'all can y'all can hold out on that though. <laughs> we don't we don't need oh island boy said rihanna needs to be marching he just want to see he just want to see uh rihanna that's all i think that'll be mayhem can you think about beyonce marching is people gonna care about the march no more everyone gonna be trying to take pictures with with rihanna he wants white voices not kumbaya not kumbaya i understand Let's see I think he back now It's true. I do march with Dr. King. Very true. Back. <laughs> okay. He said, okay. He said people will be paying attention. Listen, this, 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 let me explain right. what, what, where I left off. The reason, because I, I want to be very rational about this. Mm -hmm. The reason that I feel that I don't want white people marching with us, and hear me out, okay. is I'm not saying that I don't, I'm not saying that black people don't need their help. I'm not saying that black people don't want their help. But I'm saying this, white people in the United States, their voice is so heard, is so respected. I'm not saying don't be a part of the struggle at all. I'm saying use your voice that's so strong and so influential Take your voice and your words to the state capitol. Take it to the, basically, use your white voice to talk mm -hmm. to the white people right. that are in a position of power. Right. Use your, as a, let's just say, if I were, if I were to protest today mm -hmm. and I, I, I walked down in downtown Los Angeles and I saw white people, I'd be like, listen, listen, white person, your voice is respected. He said, yo, bro, I know, bro, I know, it's respect, you know, I know, bro, it's respect. I'm like, I'm like, listen, Chad, listen, <laughs> I'm like, listen, Chad, Scott, use your voice, and I want you to go take it to, use your, your voice to influence the people that look like you. Right. The reason that black people have to march, the reason that we have to burn stuff up is right. because they don't respect our voice. Right. When Colin Kaepernick, a few years ago, took a knee peacefully. No, bro, nobody listened to my mans. Yep. Nobody listened to him. Yep. Because nobody listened to Listen, had, what, what's your name, bro? I'm sorry. What's, Eric. What's your name? Eric. Yep. Yo, E, had somebody listened to him, bro, we would not have to deal with the protests and the marching today. The yep. reason Got to, the reason that we got to burn stuff down, right. the reason we got to march, is Not because listen. nobody listened to my man's voice when he took when he peacefully took that knee. And right. He said, "Listen, I'm 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 protesting because police brutality against black men is out of control. Right. Like, something needs to change. Nobody yep. listened. So I'm saying, I'm, listen, this. Imagine, right, bro? Imagine if the NFL." CEOs, the presidents, and all those guys. Imagine, bro, if they came together, they said, you know what? We we, we run sports. Everybody watches football. Things are not right. 70% 70 of the NFL players are black. We, we, we respect our black athletes. We get paid off these guys. We respect them. We need to say something on behalf of them because things ain't right. Right. Imagine had they came out as a unified front on behalf yeah. of black people and said, listen, um, police departments, we need things in place that protect black and brown people. 
Right. Come on. We the NFL. What, what's good? What, right. What? Nobody said that, bro. So that's why now, I, I'm no shade, but let me be very clear. So I'm not one way on Instagram and one way on the interview. Right. If the white people that claim to care about us now, from from everybody who worked with me that like me, yep. I have to respectfully say, listen, if y'all cared about us so much, why didn't y'all say something back then when Colin Kaepernick took a knee? He yep. wasn't disrespecting the flag, bro. He said, listen, man, police are killing black people in the streets. Right. That ain't right. We need right. something to come on. We need something to watch out for us. Right. Nobody said nothing, bro. So now we got to protest. We got to burn stuff down. Black right. people don't feel like marching. <laughs> we tired, bro. We've been marching since this. We've been marching since the sixties. Since right. Emil Kit, Martin Luther King, peace be upon him, oh. Malcolm X. We don't want to march. We got to do that. Yep. So people hear us. Yep. At the end of the day, it's like this. To white people who watch me, who, who watch my show on Ballers, who like me as an actor, who who, who are cool with me, who, who's gonna watch me on American Soul tonight, plug, lucky plug. plug. We about to get into that. But for, for for the white people that for, for cause I know like people, white people like me, for yep. the white people that like me, listen, man. It's like this: use your voice, use your influence, talk to the people that look like you that are in positions of power. They can bring about change. Black people, we gonna we gonna handle it down here on the street level. Right. White people, if you care about us like you say you do, you got love for us. I'm not, I, okay. No 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 love lost. Okay. Let's let's bring about change. It's about love. If black people were as as mean or as hateful or as evil, whatever it is that they pre pre predict us to be on on yeah. TV and everything like that, instead of seeking equality, we would have been seeking revenge. Black people, right. we not out to get do people like we like we've been done. Right. We ain't we ain't on that. We I love Africa from the from the from the soul of God. We 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 love, bro. Yeah. Yep. So we just want things. For me personally, I just want things to be equal across the board. I'm not asking for special handouts. I'm not asking for anything. That's equality, bro. The equality, bro. Whatever you got, I want. Let's let's yep. make it fair. You got privileges. Yep. Cool. Let me get some of that. You, yep. And vice versa, reparations, not no dollar amount. I want reparations. Uh, excuse me. I want reparations that have no expiration date because the work that we've done for this country. Yeah. People are still benefiting off of it, yep. bro. I'm giving not emotional. This is all facts, bro. The work that we put into this country. That our, our, our forefathers, our forefathers put into this country, mm -hmm. ain't no expiration dates on it. People are still benefiting, benefiting off of the labor of our great, great, great grandfathers and, and parents. So I'm like, listen, I don't want no handouts. Right. I'm. I, I, it's not about hating white people. Be right. very clear about that. Right. It's about living in the world where things are fair, equal, and this and this love, bro. So I want to be very thorough. So I don't. I, again, I don't want to be one way on Instagram, and then right. I, I talk with you, and then I'm in front of my white agents or my white representative, and I'm somebody else. I'm right. very clear across the board. Right. Love, inequality, fairness across the board, but let me be very clear that, you know, about, about, about where I stand. So, anyway. So, one last question on this. Okay. What, what message do you have to all the Karens out in the country? I'll say what I said before, which is this. All the Karen, let me be clear. <laughs> Karen's. <laughs> Come on, Eric. You know, you know, listen, Karen's. This is the thing. Is that Karen's, that complaining thing that you do, that you, that you do with black folks, listen, that energy can be effective, Karen, all the Karen's in the world. <laughs> use that voice, use that complaint energy that you have, Mm -hmm. Use it to fight against injustices. Use it to fight against racism. But they not. But but okay. All right. But we got to keep it. We have to keep it a hundred. Okay. Everyone does is not gonna. They don't care. They they're not interested. You're you know you're talking about using that voice to be able to fight against injustice. Cool. Okay. 
got it. You're right. They right. can't. They don't care about that. Okay. They don't care about the injustice. They don't care about all that. They care about this world that they live in and how right. it's in, in um interrupted right. by black people. Um, COVID nineteen. They can't right. get. This done they can't and they make these complaints about everything and it's it becomes a point where it's like my message is just what, what is it just mind your business go about your business you know right good so so you said that the Karens of the world they are they are you said they, they don't care about that stuff so what was your question so it's if if you're talking to a Karen right okay. who doesn't care about injustice, doesn't care about nothing. Like, what, what is just, like, your message to them? Just, even if you just saw a whole bunch of Karens, you just lined them up. Just Karen, 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 Karen. And you can't even, the whole injustice, use your voice for it, they're not trying to hear that. Because okay. What would you say? I'll be like this. And I, I got to say, because I don't know who's listening, I got I to gotta be clean about this. For the Karens who don't care about the injustices and care about racism and none of that stuff, if I were to meet a bunch of Karens just at a rally somewhere, yep. I would tell them to shut. <laughs> um, what's the clean version? The clean version is shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Okay. That's the clean version. If there was a Karen in the audience, if there were Karens that cared, I'd mm -hmm. say use your voice to go fight against injustices and racism. But for the right. rest of Karen, I don't give a... Listen, man, I saw a couple of clips where... I remember this, it was a brother, I think he was going to go get something to eat. And he passed a Karen. And then on the way back, a Karen was still there. She was telling him to go off into his area, go into Oakland, whatever it was. Right. And he cut her out and he gave her a piece, he gave her a piece of his mind. And I, I laughed and I cheered, I, I cheered for that. Right. It was tragic, but at the same time, I'm like, listen, man, people across the board. Right. Who got weak attitudes, man. Like, I can't get with that 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 poor, weak attitude stuff, bro. Secure people, we lift up, we encourage, yep. we support. Insecure people put down. Right. When I'm if, if a Karen, if I were to walk downstairs, and and and, and I'm running to a Karen and she said something slick. <laughs> this this oh, this is why I would tell black people. Excuse me. Excuse me, black people. When you run into a Karen. Don't get emotional. Okay. Parents like when you get emotional. Right. If any t black people that are watching me, <laughs> make shout out to Eric and everybody who followed Eric. Listen, when you white black people, when you deal with racist white people, right, don't become emotional. Right. Keep your emotions under control. Right. They like when you're emotional. They like when you you become irate and. Forget all that. Keep right. your cool. Right. These white folks, listen, they can't even handle all the COVID-19 stuff. They can't be, they can't handle being told no. Right. And they're mad because they have to wear masks. Exactly. Even if the mask is for their own health, they're mad. Uh, you know? they don't, listen, black people, <laughs> keep your cool. Keep your cool. Anytime, this is what I'll say. Because I, I can't, I don't care about addressing white folks about their behavior right. and this is no shade, but they're going to do what they're going to do. But right. I will speak to people that look like me. Right. Black people. Anytime you got a debate or have a conversation with someone that's white that you feel is a racist and black people by definition, by definition, we cannot be racist by definition. Mm -hmm. it, let me explain. Cause I know some people like, what do you mean? You know, a, a, a black guy called a, a, a white person name. I'm not talking about being prejudiced. I'm not talking about that being big. Prejudice is an attitude. Racism is a system. It's a it's right. a power thing. Right. Listen, as black people, if we call white people names and different things like that, all we can do is call them names. Right. And that's where it stops. Right. When a white person calls us names, after they say the negative terms, they then have they then have the power to implement behind the name calling and they can shut us down on some things. Right. I want white people to understand it because I know some white people watching this and they may not understand where I'm coming from, but that's why I want to talk very candidly and very 
relax about this. Right. White people, it's not about hating you. Hate takes so much energy. I right. have no hate for anybody. It's not about that. Yep. Well, if you're a white person watching me and Eric on this live, use your influence, use your voice to right. bring about change in the in the in the police departments so that black people are protected. Right. I'm not saying I know that we had black people that ran from the police. I know black people that you know that were drunk. I'm not saying that they're not um they're innocent. Right. But being innocent or, or, or running from the police or being drunk or resisting arrest shouldn't end in death. In I'm life. not I'm with that in my heart. That's not right. Right. Lock them up. Yeah. But not death. That's right. what we're coming down to. So this again to my point with black people. Black people, anytime I talk to white people, don't be emotional. You ain't gotta curse nobody out. You gotta yell. Deal with white folks in facts. Just talk to them very candidly. London, and I'm 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 petty. I'm gonna start going through my apartment. It's the and I see what I'm do you do you live here? What what I mean, floor, I'm, I'm floor are you on? Can I can I can I see the key? I just want to. I'm just gonna start doing that. I because I know I pay rent. I'm just not sure if you pay rent. I'm gonna. Pay, I'm gonna start doing. I pay rent, bro. <laughs> That's what, it's about love, bro. It's about it's about being non-emotional. Right. Forget, forget all of that stuff, man. Right. Just talk to people straight up. Right. Deal with them in facts. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk your ear off. No, you good. All right. Listen.